Hello, it's Ruby. Let's turn that on. Too bright. I have just got back from lectures for the day, so I basically have seven hours of straight lectures today. It's my most jam-packed day, and I've just got an email back from my philosophy lecturer saying that our essay marks have been put up on the learning platform and I thought I would do a reaction video because I know lots of people do this. Um, I am not gonna, I'm not just saying this, I am genuinely convinced that I've done really badly on this because um, I kind of took, because it's our first essay, I kind of took a chance as in I was a bit ambitious in the point I tried to make and my one concern is that it's not going to be convincing and I've been kind of regretting my decision to make to kind of take a chance and do that because the structure is also a bit kind of creative it's the kind of thing I wouldn't have been able to do at A level now I'm really scared that I'm going to have got a third or a 2-2 two -two or something I really hope I get a 2-1 if I get a 2-1 I'll be really happy Ooh, I'm nervous I don't think I've done well and I'm not just saying that that's the thing first essay I'm getting back since being at university essay feedback okay I don't know my candidate numbers I can't find it might be this number yes okay I found it but now I just need to find how to actually essay feedback oh oh my gosh it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here. it's here. Okay, I literally am convinced I've got a third. It doesn't matter though. Oh gosh, I did so badly. It just feels like a complete waste of time. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least you know not to take chances in future. I said that I knew that that would happen, and I got a mid to high 2-2. Two -two. I spent a long time on that essay and I was hoping to get a 2-1 because I know that you can't predict getting a first and that it's really hard to get a first but the thing is I knew when I was writing it and when I submitted it that I was taking a chance in writing it and I knew that I might compromise because I mean I understood this material inside out <laughs> I've got tears all over my computer so I can't see. Um, yet the essay is not forwarding a clear argument and due to that the essay structure is suffering as well and I kind of knew that that would happen. I just, it, I mean I feel really stupid for taking that chance in the first place. I was kind of testing the ground and I thought okay I'm going to try this but I spent so long on this essay. Doesn't matter. It's okay, I mean... We're told at the beginning of the course, and we're warned at A-level too, at school um, it's not the same as at university, but still that's very, very disheartening to see um, on the first essay because it kind of sets you up not on the greatest feet, but that's fine because there's always another chance and I'll learn from this and I'll know what kind of things, because they've given comments and tips for improvement, which is really useful and um, I know that I'm going to be able to hopefully improve from this and hopefully then I can get a high 60 or 70 on my next essay, but we'll see. Okay, so, um, it's currently Thursday. I basically had two days for my result to sink in and I thought that it would be useful for me just to provide a reflection now because I was quite emotional as you could see when I was opening the results 
and I've been really playing it over in my mind whether to upload this or not and I wasn't going to. I filmed it and I thought, oh my gosh, no way am I putting this on YouTube. But then I thought about it more deeply and I realised that that's the exact kind of video that I do need to be sharing because everyone experiences failure, everyone experiences getting bad grades, getting bad marks and it's not fair of me to not share that with you. At school I wasn't very, I wasn't used to getting bad grades and they always say that it's a massive transition going from A level to going to university in terms of you're not going to be able to get 90% on a test and that's really really hard to hear because I like to get those kinds of marks and it makes you feel good to get those kinds of marks and you work hard to get those kinds of marks but I've been thinking about it and I really am trying to keep this in perspective it's my very first essay which I have written and submitted at university level and I did intentionally experiment with it a bit I know that there are way worse things which could have happened and I know I could have done worse on that um, I said before I'm going to get a third and I didn't get a third so at least I didn't get a third. Yeah so not entirely happy but it's fine. Um, I just want to remind you that if you for example clicked on this video because you're nervous about getting your first essay back at university or because you've just got a bad grade back or maybe you're nervous about getting a bad grade it's okay and it's not the end of the world. It's so easy for us to think well, this is it, you know, this is the be all and end all. And if I do badly on this, then I'm never gonna be successful. And that's such a bad way of looking at it because nothing is impossible, nothing closes something off entirely and nothing prevents you from being successful. So you can keep on going and this one mark doesn't define you. So please, please, please remember that. So thank you so much for watching me cry about my results. Um, I hope in some strange way this was useful and I hope that you have a productive week.